How about, Tim, you give me a voice check. Hi, everybody. I'm talking to you because I can. I don't know what else to say. All right, we're good. We got this. We got this on rap. Cool. It's a rap. It's a rap voice. Voice in the she. 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 <laughs> she. Tim, give us our she. Be- your best. Tim, give us your best. She. Nope. I guess that's how we're starting the video. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another <laughs> tier list. We're back with the boys. Is this entertaining? Yeah. Boys, boys. How are you doing, Joel? I'm doing all right. I don't want to go to work today, but here I am. What about you, Tim? How are you doing? I'm already asleep. Well, I've got my coffee here. And it... That's not Dragon's Treasure Tea. No, I need something that's a little bit more potent. I have my coffee here. It tastes more dirty, less bean-like. You know? Cause yeah, like, I, I actually the... know. It, it's so... Uh, dirty beans? Mm, that dirty reminds beans. me of oh, Gurren Lagann. <laughs> Whoa! I was wondering how you were going to segue this. Man, yeah, that was... I knew about the segue very, like, five seconds in. Yeah, I thought he might, and I'm surprised with your groggy brain. Gurren Lagann is a show that we started watching together, and then you guys didn't watch it, and then you watched it again eventually. I really liked this show, especially the first uh, part of the season. I'm not a huge fan of mecha anime. I'm not a huge fan of just a, a bunch of people getting into a uh, suit and then oh, fight another robot. It's it's like, eh, eh. I want a little bit more story to it. But this one was amazing. I'm probably gonna give it an A tier or a B tier. The second part was really not mm-hmm. that great. It really did ruin it quite a bit and i haven't talked about the other show that's like that so i'll I'll wait but in this case it's season two was horrible well i think it was season one part two but in that case i'm yeah. probably gonna give it a b tier i can be persuaded for a tier it was really as you say the second part just was not good the first part was really good the ovas are really good as well which is surprising for just kind of a mecha show because you figure it's just more robots in the OVAs, but it's actually different stories with the same characters. Very different, very fun. Very much so enjoyable, but that second half is just not as enjoyable. But as far as mecha, as you say, I'm not a huge fan of them normally, but that one's really good. Agreed. I don't know how much more I can add on to that without what you already said, other than or a mecha anime, it's not bad. What would you give it? B. B tier? Or what about you, Tim? Uh, I'd slap it on A for the OVAs, but probably B overall. B B B B B Blue Exorcist. Oh, speaking which, of season which twos, is, <laughs> which which has <laughs> a little bit of a season two problem as well. It has. In my opinion, it's it's a really entertaining show. I forgot to say spoilers. Hey, spoilers! Is this entertaining? Season 2 is just season 1 all over again. And the thing is, it's not like, okay, this was basically the same idea. No, it was like exactly the same idea again, but worse. Yep. And so, I ugh. It has bop and intro. It's got a great story to it, and it's really entertaining. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, does it get bad because of season two? Yeah, uh, no. Just a solid nope to season two. Yeah. For one reason of, it it literally brought back the worst part of season one for me. Mm -hmm. And then just forced you to sit through it more. What was the worst part of season one for you? So, it was the point where everyone hates him. Mm-hmm. And then they just, that is season two. So there's no fun interactions with any of the characters. It's kind of just like, ugh, I hate you. And they can't go past that because then they'd be getting into season one. 
they hate yeah. slash are scared of him because well, the they thing saw is his that, true like, form. What, yeah, what what I didn't like about it was they could have made season two work better if they had built up that they still didn't fully trust him in season one. But they did. They implicitly trusted him in season one. At the after end, yeah. they got over it. And then he does but, one thing that's not even the worst thing that he's ever done. And they're like, no, I don't trust you again. Exactly. exactly. They, they honestly built up a lot in season one. The, the, I think it was a progressive distrust that worked really well. And then they brought it back in season two. I'm just like, oh, you're dragging this out even longer. When they could have done the better plot of his brother understanding his powers. Yeah. Instead of just him. And oh, when I pretty... think of working together, I think of teamwork. And there's oh, not boy. many shows that go better with teamwork than Haiku. That uh, pretty well. Make myself that's that's really... That was a terrible segue. Don't worry about it. Haiku, I Haiku. didn't actually sit through all the way. Basically, Tim <laughs> watched it while I was around. And so I know the gist yeah. of it. And then my sister watched it, and I saw, like, the few episodes I didn't see. So, so in my opinion, it. it's it's another, like, the the sports anime is all about teamwork and bettering yourself. And, yeah, it's it's just so over the top. So for me, it's a good laugh. I think it's, it's hilarious. It's also got, like, uh, unlike a lot of sports anime that, you know, you know, they're funny and it's like that. This one also has a lot of, gets a bit deeper than other shows. So while for most of it, I was laughing, there's also uh, some deeper parts to the show. So I'm going to give it a B tier, though, overall. Tim, now's your chance to shine uh, and prove your worth. Uh, like you. <laughs> uh, I'm offended. I I actually really, really enjoyed this because this, this went over the top. And as as it was, it it didn't take try to take itself super super seriously like some sports one, uh, where they're just super serious pretty much the whole way th through, with just the uh, obligatory stupid episodes. This one kept a lighthearted tone, kind of help, helped everyone feel like friends and, like mm -hmm. you said, the power of friendship. And not to mention, had some really good openings. Is yeah, the oh one of the gosh. openings actually gets stuck in my head all the time. But as I, soon as I you have a higher the tolerance. opening, I just go fly, fly. Exactly. <laughs> so that fly. I haven't even seen the season of the show. We'll I do a cover, it. Tim. We'll do a cover. <laughs> oh no! Don't promise things. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> oh no, right. Joel. What do you? Think? Oh no, spicy hot pepper. I gotta sing that one. <laughs> hey, if you want to. Oh, God. Leave a like down and comment down below if you want to see. If you smash Caleb. like, we'll ha we'll have Tim sing. Well, I, technically, the the way of the rules is that he gets to pick his own opening, so he's not I, he's not bound by I it. I wouldn't hate doing that one. Yeah, but um, a anywho, back to what I was saying about the show. Really good. I like it. I think it's funny. There's just one scene. I I hope Caleb remembers the giant crying scene. Oh yeah, that was such a good scene. But uh, I mean, it just had this those moments. It 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 was pretty good. Would you give it what? Yeah, what would you give it? What would you give it? Because oh, you've seen. All I of say I'd show. give it an. Uh, uh, yeah, I was the one who actually watched it. I personally would give it an A, but I also like volleyball better than most people, so B's okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I, the only episodes I have seen were like the first three or four when I was with Tim and he had it on so i watched a little bit with him and it looked good interesting i have it on my list to watch so i haven't watched any more of it but <laughs> i'll get there one of these days and then i watched a little bit of ev when i was up there for over the holidays but mm -hmm. i think that if if we get enough smashes on the like button we, we might be able to boost it a little bit boost it for tim what am i what am I hearing? Uh, yeah, I'm hearing the leg button. Uh. All right, it's an A tier. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I, I know who you are. I, I felt the like button. I felt it all the way through space, the space-time continuum. 
your comment. I, I see your comment. Wow. I appreciate your comment. And you and you just made volleyball better for everyone else in the world. Thank you. Speaking of making everything else better in the world, uh, and it, uh, that's every single one. <laughs> that's every single one. There's, there's not much about making something better Speaking in the world. Speaking of smashing. Speaking of oh, smashing. No. <laughs> ma- sp- speaking of making the world better and smashing things, that reminds me of One Punch Man. There you go. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so confused. That was that was kind of when I was going to go because like making the world better. Because I mean, you know, it's superhero. He's just a superhero for fun, and it's uh This is a show that like even much like Attack on Titan. Uh, this is a show that like people who aren't even real anime fans watch. Uh, True. And and they love it. I watched season one and two. I still liked season two. I actually was a pretty big fan of it. It it wasn't as good as season one, but if like season one was like an eight out of ten, then season two was like a seven in a quarter. So I, I didn't have much problem with it. Um I'ma think I'ma think maybe this is an this is definitely an A tier. Do do we think this is an S tier, boys? Oh no, not at all. No, we don't think it's an S tier. No, the S tier is a reserve. That's not an S tier show. It's reserved. Yeah, you're right. It is reserved. I'm giving it, it an A tier. It's though. not that good. It's, it's actually, not really uh, that good. It's really entertaining, but I don't know if it's S tier. I was say, yeah, actually, Sorry to, to tease you all. I actually do know people who don't watch anime who have heard of One Punch Man are like. Yeah, I, I like that because it's just stupid jokes about superhero shows. It, it, yeah. it, it's it's very very entertaining. I really I liked it. I I agree. Season two. It's it's kind of just it's just like season one. There's just slight changes. Not a whole lot of changes. Yeah, and people are talking good. about like the animation company that came in to, that did it completely differently, like halfway through the season, I think. And yeah. I didn't notice a difference at all, except for one frame. They kept it that, that way. It. They tried to keep it that way, so you didn't notice a difference. If they do a season three, then you'll notice a difference. Right. I was going to say, it really wasn't... I'm, tr- I'm thinking about the point where it changed, and I'm like, is that the point? Well, I honestly don't know where it changed. No, like, I thought it was just either. them doing a different, like, viewpoint. <laughs> now that you say, like, a different company I'm like oh that makes a lot more sense yeah a different production production company and a different animation studio both jumped onto this one yes i believe the same people who helped out with mob psycho 100 uh, or not, uh, sorry. Sorry. no they were the original they were the original sorry my bad i always get those confused i get who stepped in boop boop a beep bop boop 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 beep ba doop bop boop ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba cowboy bebop i guess we'll go on to cowboy bebop that's a better segue than i was gonna go we're gonna go we might as well while while joel's looking it up cowboy bebop we watched on our own i i did not mean i did not mean on our own i meant together i was thinking not on our own but I, yeah, okay we watched it together and um this was a really entertaining show uh everybody says like this is like one of the best anime dubbed ever and argue uh some of them say even like the best anime ever um in my opinion, it would have been yes when it came out, and then into the 2000s, and then it picked up, and I think there were some other ones that I like more. But that doesn't discredit the fact that this is a very entertaining show. I'll say that these two liked it more than I did, but I still think that it gets, like, I'm torn between A tier and B tier. At least slap it in A for me. At least tier slap it in A tier. Me and Tim are going to say A tier. <laughs> All right. Because of them, we'll, we'll go with A tier. Also, I found a studio change. Uh-huh. Uh, Madhouse was the original. Okay, it's done other like. ones like uh, High School of the Dead, Hunter Hunter, Death Note. And then halfway through A12. And no Game, No Life. 
uh, it went to JC's staff, which has made shows like Food Wars and Bakuman. Yeah, okay. So it got picked up by mm. JC's staff halfway through. Why don't we talk about Cowboy Bebop and how great of a show it is? Yeah. And man, I really like Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah. And, and it has definitely aged, but I'll say that it aged really well. Like a fine wine. Because, in all honesty, this sh- this show just it's 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 dub is so so crisp and so perfect that it doesn't try to be something really out there and wild, but it takes itself like a smooth jazz, like an old western, but put into mm-hmm. a the future into space, which is what the name says, space cowboy. <laughs> it really implies that kind of a show very very well. All the characters in it don't bluntly aren't blunt and aren't like, Ugh, I'm a tough person, but you can kind of learn who they are and how they act along the way. Of course, there's character changes, and of course, you learn who they actually are, but the rest of the cast doesn't actually really know. They just kind of are just like, they are who they are, just like the old westerns. Mm-hmm. And I like it. I, because of it. I concur, and I really... Even though it came out in the late nineties, it's probably one of the best anime you can watch. The story is very well driven and it's not like all over the place either. It's not like you're confused every other episode, like, hey, what's going on? Like, I thought we were doing it. Like, no, it's very well written, very well timed up with the timeline. But it also is like has very funny moments that just make you laugh out loud and like are on the floor it's just hilarious mm-hmm. and there's very very serious somber moments where you're like holy cow what did i just go through and it just gives you all the range of emotions and for me personally it is definitely in my top five anime of all time mm-hmm. uh yeah. i it would personally give it even an s tier at times but I respect the A tier, so... You talking about it's jogged my memory a bit more of watching it. Um, yeah, it's had amazing parts in it. I think if we binged watched it, like all of it, and didn't take that break, I would have enjoyed it more. Only because of the the quality of the S tiers that we have. Um, I, I don't know if I'd boop it up to S tier. Just I, I really don't know. It, it's a if tough one, but was, I will if say... If this was between 2000 2010 we were ranking this, it would be an S tier. Yes, it, but... it, 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 would be be- it would be better. Um, And this was like an older generation of anime. Like if you were to... I'm going to pluck some stuff out of here. We grew up here watching stuff in between here. That's where we are. But there were people who like really loved this show who are older than us, and that's why. Dad's seen Cowboy mm-hmm. Bob. Speaking... Of older shows that are highly underrated, I'm going to go with Bacchino. I'm the only one who's seen this one. Yes. But yep. it's a really entertaining show. It's another one that came out like 2006, and it it just gets you. It's, it's so full of emotion, and the thing is that the main characters are just so oblivious, and they help. It's just, I'm trying not to spoil too much, even though this is a spoiler zone. The main characters, honestly, were probably my least favorite part, because they were the comedic break from the whole, like, heavy tones of the show. And I was like, uh, they were they were a little too over the top, in my opinion. But that's like my one. Fl- that's like the one flaw in this show. I would give this an A tier. Wow, what a choice! Okay, I believe you. Okay, we were talking about S tiers earlier, so let's about being like the perfect, the perfect creme de la creme. So that's S-tier why shirt. we're going wait, to pull wait, out. Wait, wait, wait. We got to have the comments. Guess what we're going to have. Get, yeah, leave, leave a comment. What are we going to have as our first F-tier Madoka Magica? <laughs> Good job. Well done. <laughs>
<laughs> that's, that's the exact opposite end. Good job. We're going to go the exact opposite end. All right. Where's the uh, confetti Madoka cannons? Magica. Good job. Good job. Um, reverse confetti cannons for me. Confetti reverse cannons. confetti cannons. I unconfetti <laughs> your cannon. Joel and I watched this together. Not all uh, of it. We watched two uh, or three episodes. Two and a half episodes. <laughs> it's just such a psychedelic trip. The the animation. What happens in it? It is not for me at all. And since this Close. is my tier list, it's getting an F tier. Some people might really like it, but it is not for me at all. I just, I couldn't get into it. I could I, I could be persuaded to give it um, a double D tier, but uh, all the characters are very flat chested, so we're not going to do that. I, listen, this show was a show that while well, Kayla was up here visiting me and Tim, he was staying with me for a few days, and we're like, what anime can we watch together? Because I think we finished whatever show we were watching at the time. So we're like, let's just find a show. And we was like, all right, Madoka Magica. That sounds interesting. We started, first episode went by, I'm like, hmm, okay, curious. And then we went to the second show, and we're like, absolutely not. No, not even close. It's Yeah, we were like, all right, maybe it was just like a bad first episode. You know, and you know, usually the first episode is like the worst. You got to give it, was it rule of three, the first three episodes? Yeah, usually I try to give it the first three episodes. And we tried. We watched two and a half episodes, couldn't even finish the third episode. What was another show that had, there was like a really rough first episode and then it got better that I keep telling okay, people uh, about? No like Game the first Life? Episodes, the, oh, yeah. Because yeah, No Game No Life's first episode is a little rough to get into because... Every time no game, leash. no life is slow, but no, I was thinking about a different episode, a different show, and I'll I'll talk about that next. I'm gonna go get more coffee. Okay, I was. He's sure. gone. He's gone. Recording stopped. Uh, or well, recording still recording, but he's just gonna edit it out later. Oh, well, I thought you were gonna continue with Madoka Magica, but oh probably. yeah, I will, I'll continue if he's still recording. It's fifty fifty if he is. We'll find out. Uh, Madoka Magica, for those of you wondering, is like if you are on weed and LSD at the same time, and it is not a pleasant experience. Not that I've done either, but I'm just saying it's like the feeling so of the being original Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's like if you were high and also on LSD, which makes you like see multiple colors spinning around. It, that's right. what it, that's what it feels like. I'm back. Okay, He's yeah, back. Madoka Magica, crazy. Um, first episode, crazy, and then it just got crazier. However, like we were saying, there are shows that have some uh, rough first, first episodes episode. that might turn you off. So whenever I recommend this next show, I always say, listen, the first, show, the first episode is a bit creepy. Not a fan. I mean, I like it, but it's a bit creepy. And then the rest of it, tones down a bit and that show would be black butler now black butler i know all of you have been waiting waiting very long for this one very long for this episode the fan fans are just going the fans nuts are the screaming the fans are going i know everyone's comments. hovering over the unsubscribe button if i give this the wrong uh this is about to be ranking. the most disliked video about my my video telling you to dislike the video is going to have less dislikes than this one. So Black Butler uh, just has like a scary first episode. Like anyone who's seen it, like the first episode's pretty scary. And I didn't watch the rest of it because I didn't really want it to. I was like, I don't know. I don't want a horror anime. And then I watched the rest of it and it was just over the top. But it was kind of funny, but also cool and mysterious. So this here is season one. This is season one. Surely season one. Just season one. Okay. All right. Because season two doesn't exist, as everyone knows. Um, Facts. So season what? one, in my opinion, it was really good. I've seen it all the way through four times, I think. Three times. And I really enjoyed I it. I think I'd give season one a B tier. <laughs> I know you're unhappy. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, no. People are going to murder you. Dislikes. Uh, I can hear uh, the comments. Uh, the outrage. 
They're trying uh, to shoot you with the confetti cannons. They're trying to shoot me with a confetti cannon. I unloaded. I know. I did. It was a strategic <laughs> maneuver because I knew it was going to happen. Uh, yeah. Listen, the reason why oh. is because it didn't, like, it's not an S tier. Look, what we're going to have in the S tier is just, like, purely, like, the best of the best. And that just wasn't Black Butler Season 1. Or season, season 2. two. doesn't exist. Yeah. Or Season 3. Um, season 2, though, actually wasn't horrible. I just really, really don't like Aloise. And the first episode was also incredibly hard to get through. <laughs> B tier is like the average show for me that I would continue watching and recommend. C tier is something I would tell people like, hey, watch it if you want. But no, I recommend the show. And I do like it. It's fun. But if I'm going to rank it against all these other shows, where does it stack up? It's probably a B tier. But we oh, have Black Butler at... Book of Circus here. Uh... <gasps> Maybe I will get your trust back by giving it an A tier. Oh, there you go. Did we win some fans back with that one? Did we win some? It was. It had the they best. Stopped, they of stopped Black trying Butler. to shoot you. No, I think they're still trying to shoot me. And honestly, I could see Black Butler in an A tier, but I'm not gonna. Black Butler Book of Circus though was amazing. Um, like I said, I'm pretty reserved on the S tiers. It's not that, but it is amazing. And I highly recommend it if you can find it anywhere. Netflix only has season one and season two on it, and then an OVA season. Anyone else want to add to Black Butler? Well, Tim, uh, another, so Tim, go ahead. I I've seen season one. I couldn't watch season two. I tried. I got episode one. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Everyone back. And you I have episode seen Circus. one. Episode one of season two I have seen, and then I was just like, nah, not going to happen. It's actually, I highly recommend you watch, you try watching it again. Because after yeah, season it, one, the horrible episode that's season one, it gets much better for a while. Then if I, you can't handle say, it again, I'm okay with it. I was going to say, it, the problem I had was I was watching pretty much all of it through. And it's kind of, it, it gets kind of gory at the end of season one. And then it continued into season two, episode one. And I'm just like, I don't want all this. Just stop it. And so I didn't want to watch it. And now I just okay. haven't gone back to it. I got gotcha. you. I definitely could, but it, it's a, a B. It's not any higher. <laughs> I agree. I mean... Black Butler's good. I'm not saying it's not it's not good. I definitely would recommend season one. But I'm with Tim. I I actually watched the first three episodes and still was like of oh, season two, sorry, and was still like, eh. Okay, so these guys are just trying to make me look nicer. Like these guys definitely don't actually think I I can't believe you. Season two season one of Black Butler's not that bad. Season one was good. I like season one. Season one is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, you mean season two you watched a few episodes of? Season two I watched a few episodes of, and I was like, eh. All right, Black Butler fans, here. sir, you're welcome. You're sorry, welcome. Sorry, Black but I know, you were waiting for this, and it was a massive letdown. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I even clickbaited <laughs> the thumbnail. Oh, excuse me, to be, to be that. But speaking of a show that is very divisive, I'm going to go straight on to a show that Tim coined on one of the previous recordings that didn't make it because recording errors. I don't even know. It's called the first show syndrome. And it's where we give the first show more grace than it deserves because it was our first show and it blew us away. And if we were to watch it again, which we have, it's not as good, but it's our first show. So we have an amount of sentimental nostalgia attached to it. And that show, if you haven't already guessed, would be Sword Art Online. Sword Art no Online, problem. I love this show. People hate it, and I 100% understand. This show is awful. The writing is awful. Its own Einkred arc is the only one that's bearable, really. And that's what this one is. I have another one down here for the, the rest of the show. But for Aincrad specifically, I'm going to give Aincrad an A tier. It deserves a B tier, maybe a C tier, but I, I just love the show so much. I just love it. 
I think it's also really good in Japanese. So for those of you who are looking for very few shows to watch in Japanese, Sword Art Online, One Punch Man, and JoJo's are three that you should really watch in Japanese. As for the rest of it, where did I, I have a picture of Gun Gale. I know there's a Gun Gale show on Netflix. Didn't watch that for the exact reason don't, don't of why I'm going to be giving it. <sighs> okay, if you're, doing, if you're doing the entirety of Sword Art Online, you also have to con- include Alicization because you've seen Alicization now. I've seen Alicization. Well, you haven't seen it, the finishing of Alicization. I haven't seen the finishing of it, no. I'm waiting for that to be in English. Uh, uh, are you done? I'm giving it a C tier. All right, Tim, you go. Okay. It, yes, start with it Thine, is one of our... Start with Aincred. Fr- what? Start with Aincred and uh, then go on. Oh, yeah. And that's great. It's actually really, really good. I think if you like... If you, if you like the thought of VR going a step deeper, then you'll love the idea of Sword Art Online especially season one and just how it plays out and how it goes. And honestly, I don't think it's bad. I haven't seen it again, at least season one. And I've wanted to, I've wanted to rewatch it. Just haven't done it. Rewatch. It's on my list to rewatch so I can give an honest opinion, but I really like it. Season one. I think season one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh, gun Gale. I've seen the, um, the, the anime, the gun Gale anime. Don't watch it. Just don't do it. And then, mm-hmm. for as far as the Sword Art Online version of it, not the greatest. It's okay. What would you give it? Uh, I'd definitely give it a C tier. Okay, what about Aincred? Aincred still stays at A. Aincred, like the first season, like the first 11 episodes, I believe, are A tier. Elfheim, I actually enjoy. Like, I hate the villain. It's terrible, and they could have done the story better, but I still liked it. Yeah. Um, but really, SAO is only good while Asuna is a kick-butt character. Once Asuna becomes a weepy girl, the entire show is ruined. Asuna was yeah, my first much. waifu, so sorry. Joel, what about you? Okay, you're both going to hate me for this. But I'm moving Aincrad like an A plus, real close to S tier, and I'm moving the rest of the show to a B, maybe even an A. And here's why. Don't hate me. And I know the SAO haters are gonna hate me too. But Aincrad is yes, this is gonna be the first show syndrome. I'm sorry, but I have actually rewatched the Aincrad again recently. Like last year I rewatched it again. And it's the story is so well written in the first 12 episodes, like the Iron Crab series. And I know you were saying like the writing later kind of becomes trash, which it, it doesn't, it's not as good later, but they put so much effort in those first 12. I think that's why the later ones are worse, but the first 12 episodes they did were just so good. And it's just the story picks up and you get to really see the characters true form and their growth as characters and let's keep in mind they're like 16 17 years old in this show and the way they treat them it's almost if they're like adults oh there goes copix old copix sees a cat new copix anyway they treat them almost like they're adults in this world and in this vr world they kind of are because they kind of have to step up in order to survive so it's it's i really like the plot of the show and even afterwards i agree i thought alfheim was good yes i didn't like the villain but that was the whole point they made the villain extra key before that reason well, no yeah well yeah actually that's one thing i was going to say like they made the villain like really hate the villains over the top the villains are top for a reason though like they wanted well, no, to make a I point think with the villain they made it really if... okay well, actually no you you keep going I'll, because I'll the villain in alfheim is a creep and wants asana because while she was in Aincrad, he was seeing her. That was the whole point of him being extra creepy in the show and having that backstory and like wanting to marry her and keeping her locked away like that because he didn't want her to leave. So they made it over top so you, they made you hate him so much more, which I think is actually genius. Um, and then Gungale, 
Yeah. And then the second half of season two was just pointless side story that was unnecessary. <laughs> and then Alice I really and... like that. I know you did. I know so that's what I, I don't know why I really like that, but I really like the second half of season two. You always but it's also so not great. that great. And I was like, but it's not though, it's pointless. But and then Alice Vision, I actually the I'm first not gonna talk about that yet. Alicization. I Alicization really like... was a bit long. That's all I yeah. have to complain about that show. I was going to say let's let's wait to the end of that before giving our thoughts. Yeah, that's true. But I think that for Alicization, like one of the rules of editing and making a good video or show at all is like just tightening it all up, not making it too long or too short, so the pacing is right. And the pace, like it was just too drawn out. It should have been shorter. Um, I think that the writing in SAO yeah. was horrible all the way through. It just had a great idea that they tried to follow through on. So that's uh, yeah. That's I was gonna say. Not... I think I think it had good ideas, but it, it could have had better execution. Really I think it was a really funnier really good version of SAO. Happened. Though, go watch SAO abridged. SAO abridged. Oh, what a beautiful show. That's another that's really a good abridge. Also, if you really are into like OVAs and openings and endings and music and that kind of stuff, uh, please look up SAO opening endings and OVAs because SAO has some of the best music in anime. Just you mean OSTs? OSTs, yes. Sorry, I always get OVAs and OSTs confused. OSTs. Like I say it all the time. Like SAO gets like too good a sh of uh, music for like how. Mediocre, mediocre to show, show it. Yeah. yeah, that's the only reason it's savable because of the music. I, 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 I kind of feel the same way about Dragon Ball, though. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, Dragon Ball is literally supposed to be people beating each other up. It's not really yeah. supposed to be story at this point. As, as you say, Dra Dragon Ball though is like, how, what kind of music can we get? Punching him in the face, and so it's kind of yeah. high upbeat. So anyway, just just speaking of another show that has great music, I would argue this is in everybody's top three openings of all time, and the top okay. three openings are like the three openings of this show. Uh huh. Go on. That would be Attack on Titan. Who? Okay. Attack on. I've actually been listening to. Um, if you guys know Evan the Usurper who I've been, I uh, just was talking to, uh, I put out a community post that said, hey, if you're ever working and you want to listen to music or you're working out, he does workout mixes that I really like. And he did, he did uh, four for Attack on Titan, which have spoilers in it. So if you haven't seen the show, it has commentary from the show along with the music, which I think is a great mix of things to do. I also say, uh, I was talking about this on a different show uh, I think it's One Punch Man, that people who aren't anime fans have seen this show. And sometimes I have to ask, so are you an anime fan or are you an Attack on Titan fan? Because people are like, oh, I don't really like anime, yeah. but I like Attack on Titan. And Attack on Titan is also another show that has a rough first episode. Which I think does well after you get into it, but you have to give it three episodes and then you start getting into the show. Yep. And that's one thing that about the show is that like it's an amazing show while you're watching it and then if you like leave it for a week then you kind of just eh. forget about it and you're like eh, i don't really want to watch it eh. but great show yep. i'm giving attack on titan an a tier mm. yeah i was trying to rewatch it and i was just like eh, there's just nothing i could watch i was like okay now we're gonna get back to it so that way we can watch it and i was like eh. But yeah, it, it's really good when you get into it, and it's very intense and uh, also suffers from something we just talked about, the first anime syndrome. Yes, indeed it does. A lot of people watch, a lot of people watch this first, a lot of people get hooked, and then they're just like, eh, it's amazing, and then it's just like, progressively, eh. I believe this is actually my first true anime I've ever seen back when I was in high school. Is it? I have no clue. I think so. I think it's the first one. I thought the first one you watched said what you said was uh, that was close. Sword Art. I can't remember if it was Sword 
on Attack on Titan. It was one of the two. They were both like back to back. Yeah, I, I think I do remember though you saying that. I was like back to back. I watched these two, so they're both I think like. Attack first on Titan might have been your first one, if I remember. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, yeah, that was it? my first one I watched by myself. Yeah, same. I mean, it was the first anime I watched all the way through. Like, if you're not counting like Pokemon, the movie or something like that. <laughs> that's movie? not a show. That's, that's a not movie. a show. That's a movie. That is a. But it's an anime. Is the point? It, Whatever. It, it, yeah. It so what would, what would you give it a ranking? I don't even remember. It, it. I probably give it an A. It's good. It's a good story. I just don't really remember it that well. Yeah, but. it's been a while since I've seen it because I've I saw season one, I saw half of season two, and I stopped there. And it's been like four or five years since I've last seen it. So I need to go back and finish it because you know now that season three and season four. Yes. Camera, my Attack on Titan jacket. Yep. I bought you your Attack on Titan Attack on Titan jacket. Yes, you can get it. Find it. I bought that for him. If I you're was paying a... fifty bucks for a jacket, you would expect it to be high quality. You would expect it to be. Mm hmm But it's not. But it's really not. No. Because I bought that, and I bought myself the Tokyo Ghoul shirt that I have here at home. Yeah, that you only saw like three episodes of. This is, yeah. Listen, it was either that or it was like My Hero Academia, which I've also only seen like three episodes of, and I was like, which I is thought, true because you only got the discount if you bought two. Yes, because you it was buy one get one fifty percent off. So I was but like, well, also I get at you the to... same time, you still spent eighty bucks. Too much yeah. money. That's how the get yeah, you. but That's I really wanted an you. anime sweatshirt because I didn't have an anime sweatshirt or hoodie. Yeah. And you you really like the Attack on Titan hoodie, so I was like, well... That was the only one I wanted. That or the uh, Dragon Ball one, but I didn't really want to be walking around in public with bright orange. I would just say that I love Dragon Ball stuff, but all their stuff is bright orange, and I'm like, no. I don't really want to look like a traffic cone, so... Exactly. Anyway, Even though it works well for where we live. Attack on Titan's another good show. It's also another good one if you can find... Because there's so many of them. This is one of the shows it's like so many people do parodies of there's a really good essay or uh, not essay, attack on titan a bridge series online if you can find it there's a bridge on titan on titan attack on titan abridged um a slap on titan and then there's the 30 minute team four star attack on titan that are all well I think there was one of those I didn't like so much. I think Fish on Titan. I think Attack on Titan abridged I didn't like very much. But that a slap on Titan on and a bridge on Titan I think I liked. But that's one that you find like an oversaturation of. Smash like if you think I should do an abridged series of something. I know exactly what it would be and I'm not saying I'm working on anything or not. I I got he is, But I'm also not saying he isn't. So All right. So to, before we get done here, we do need to give you another S tier. Oh, hold on. I, I can't get back to the stream. I disconnected. Yeah, Tim Tim disconnected. We have some time. We can do more if you want. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's black. So we gotta give happened. ourselves another we, S tier so that this is really least. worth it. We gave a, ourselves a, a, a quite a few, uh, a, a, few good, a good diversification. Right. Um, but so that this, uh, is a little bit more interesting, S tier, what one do we want to go for? Mm. I we love the confetti kills, for, baby. I think we go for a show that has, that's probably everybody's, in everybody's top. This is one that everybody, is another one that people say, I'm not an anime fan, but I'm a this show fan and I highly recommend it and if you boys really high school mind DXD giving ourselves a drum roll okay drum roll alright that show is FMA Brotherhood confetti canes confetti canes and wolf. this time I'm not joking about the <laughs> ST <laughs> It's not joking. It's, it's legit S tier. All right. This yep. show is amazing. This show I watched right after... I watched the original <laughs> FMA, which was already 
in A tier for me, which I'm going to scooch right up to A tier now. Oh, go ahead. Um, that that was an amazing show. It the only reason why that isn't also an S tier is because of in the middle there's like a really long, drawn out like just nothing happens, and that really ruined it. Like I get the point of it, but it, and it's still an A tier. But if you're gonna go for like peak quality. Uh, Brotherhood just kept you going the entire time, and I really appreciate it. Appreciated it. It built upon what was already there and made it better. And like I said, I watched the original, and immediately watched Brotherhood afterwards. And Brotherhood still blew me away. There still had there hasn't been many shows that have blown me away the way that that show did. And I think that it it's still a testament to the show. Like I've said three times already that it could blow me away after watching 58 episodes of the original and then 63 episodes of brotherhood. Just the ability to do that is just something I've never seen before, which is why it was my number one. Um, and like I said, last time that we did this, I was flip flopping between this and house club being my number one show of all time because of that reason. Host Club is my favorite show, but the the ability, the, what that did, and my experience with it was uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. All right. A absolutely phenomenal show. I haven't seen the original uh, Full, Full Metal Alchemist, but I have yes, seen Full the way, Metal Alchemist. By the way, let me cut you off real quick. If, if you watch it, I recommend watching the original and then Brotherhood. But if you don't have the time, if you're working, not in school, if you're in school, you can watch these two uh, that way. But if you're working a lot and you don't really have the time, then I say Brotherhood and then go back and watch it. The original. Yeah, I, I, I watched uh, Brotherhood and ooh wow. We watched that one together mm. and it was we I, we just got together to watch this. I, I I everyone was like, "We'll get together and be with family." I got together to watch Full Metal Brotherhood. <laughs> mm, yes, but uh, it, it was so good. It 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 just progressed the story very very well, and and you think that like well, sixty three episodes yeah. is a lot of episodes, but it just flew right by. It did. The, like, the first it, time I watched it, it flew by, and then the second time I watched it, it flew by even faster. You wouldn't you wouldn't think a show with that many episodes could fly by and keep you entertained and hold you on the edge of your seat at all times, but it can. Mm -hmm. And it has some great th music to open and end with, just to to really just send home how good of a show it is. What would you give the uh, brother? Oh, S. S hundred percent okay. S. Uh, it, Joel it, it really likes. An... Go ahead, I'll, I'll go next. It is another one that that I can definitely say. If you don't like it, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. it's that yeah, good. Joel really likes the soundtracks. He's he's like our soundtrack guy. I really like the soundtracks too. I'm a, a, a really like music, and I think that the original Full Metal Alchemist has a better soundtrack, but they're both amazing. Joel, I'll hand it off to you now. Can't tell. I'm kind of, well, Caleb is too, but I'm a little bit more of the uh, music person here. I like listening to the opening and endings and the OSTs. And that really helps make the show for me too, because if it doesn't have good music, then I'm a little less interested. But yes, both have really good openings, endings, and OSTs. Um, so I, like you said, watch, we watched Brotherhood together over a span of like two years and then i personally actually i think earlier this year like back in january watched the original so i could compare the two because i really wanted to like see the difference between the two and see how they could compare and for me personally i think both are an s tier but if you're going to give only one an s tier definitely brotherhood uh the ending of the original full metal alchemist wasn't one of my favorite endings yeah not, there, because, it was weird man it was it was, it was... well because they didn't finish it either they left it open which which makes sense obviously but at the same time it was like you could have ended it better than what they did so 
I agree. If you're going to give what an S tier, one an A tier, original was an A tier. Just and the middle was rough, rougher for sure. Yeah. It was there was definitely some gaps in the original where it was like, okay, I need something here than just dead space. Like, what's what are we accomplishing here? Which I think is interesting because I think that that might have was probably the biggest critique. Like everyone was like, Full Metal Alchemist is amazing. The only thing I would change is like that middle part was weird and then the ending was weird. So Brotherhood like improved upon it and did exactly that. It was not slow at all ever. And then the ending was like actually satisfying. Season three of Brotherhood is probably my favorite season just because oh, I love Briggs. <laughs> female female leader briggs is just oh the the briggs brigadier general brigadier uh, general uh whoa oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. So it's true. I think <laughs> my search first just... began left behind the shores of sound of the endless everlasting world of... okay no that's just one piece okay and um, both the shows have to make you relive through the worst part which is I won't say the worst part because that'll be major spoilers. Major, <laughs> major. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I'm glad you got what I was going. With. <laughs> no way, that was unintentional. It was unintentional, but it just happened to work that way. Anyway, major spoilers. <laughs> Let's yeah. just say a certain. Actually, someone. the worst part was the everybody girl. hates what? What? Yeah, that one. Um, the. Uh, Shao Tucker. Shao Tucker? Yeah, where he takes his daughter and his Okay, dog. that's the most disturbing one. That's the worst part. I, and everyone yeah. will tell you that the original uh, FMA is best until the death of our, of everyone's favorite character and then go to Brotherhood. But yeah, no, the most disturbing part, the worst part of that show. Also, I didn't like that in original FMA, uh, Al distrusts Ed twice, I think. There's twice. two times like, where he goes through the whole, am I real? I don't believe you. He does that like five me. times throughout the entire show. Yeah, okay. So like a gajillion times happens. He, it's like every a other episode, he's like, though. wait, am I real? Am I not real? It's like every other episode to like episode 40. And then he's finally, they have like finally have that like fight and conclusion between them and it's like yes you're real and he's like okay yeah, that, and he was, believes that was pretty annoying but like it's literally like every other episode he has like a thought of like am i real it's just it gets annoying by episode like 20 anyway that's gonna be it for this one my dudes we'll come oh, back wow. we'll be doing shows such as yuri on ice hunter hunter death note soul eater which you actually haven't seen death note yeah no i'll we'll talk about that later oh and also we'll be doing demon slayer next time so demon slayer and if you want to see timmy to hot pepper and sing fly high don't forget to leave a like and comment uh -huh. <laughs> well, if you want to see me do that let me get more sleep i didn't get more sleep i also have to redo uh, monochrome kiss and that's not even my favorite opening oh well thank you all so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next episode all peace. right peace bye